Hi, I'm Paula Rivera, and today I'm going to ink and paint Hellboy. I've already started things with a pencil layout, but I also wanted to show what I was using as reference. This is a digital sculpture that I made in a program called Sculptress. I like having sculptures because it gives you a better idea of what uh, you know characters look like all the way around. I'm just going to add a few extra details here and there. You just have to play with the, the lighting and shadow until things look right. I remember reading in Mignola's character studies, he tends to only give Hellboy lower teeth because the top teeth, I don't know, he, he looks different for some reason. I usually give everyone a pretty strong lower lid and I usually like to make it very dark. The last thing I'll do is maybe decide what I want to do for shading. So I'll pick, uh, you know, lighting from the top right and that'll give me a, a good enough approximation of, of what I want to do. I want to kind of plan things for when I put color on. All right, so I think that's enough to start inking. Today I'm going to be using a Pentel pocket brush. It's usually a good idea to start on the opposite side of the hand you use, so I'm going to start at the top left. Start with the outlines, get a firm sense of where everything is. Since I know I'm going to color this in, the only parts that I'll color in black are gonna be his, his hair and really, really deep shadows because I wanna leave some of that work for the color later on. I really love inking hair. It's like, for me, that's the easiest part. You can't really mess up. Well, you can always mess up, but <laughs> there are less opportunities than for certain facial features. Technically, his ponytail wouldn't show right here, but I always draw it anyway. Sometimes for stubble, I'll use a pen. This is also how I'll give him like little flex, as if he was just in a tough fight, which with Hellboy, that's usually the case. You know, just to give you an idea, I like using a kneaded eraser to get rid of all the pencil lines, but sometimes I like leaving them in. And now I'll move on to watercolor. The trick with finding the right red is if you want red to really pop as if it's under a bright light, you actually want to make it orange. So it can turn into red, but I'm going to have light coming from the right side. So I'm actually going to use a little bit of orange. This is also the stage where if you're going to have any fine gradations, you want to put them at the beginning stage with big brushes because at the end it'll get too difficult to match the color. And with watercolor, you're just always modulating the amount of water in your brush. That's how you go lighter. So that's a good base. Might add in a little more orange on this side. And then coming back in with a little alizarin crimson, maybe even some purple and some Payne's gray. It's nice having a, a sculpture to look at because I can fake it, but there's always gonna be some kind of shadow that I, I didn't think of. For a 2D medium, you're, you're always thinking in three dimensions. And then with comics, you have the added dimension of time, which is how you tell a story. I'm gonna take a little burnt umber and do the leather of his trench coat. All right, let's give him a little smoke in the background. And last step, let's see if we can remember what the BPRD logo looks like. Let's say we ink that and then call it finished. Throw a little bit of blue gray on there. My name is Paula Rivera, and this is my little Hellboy.